As we've been mentioning all morning long, high winds causing thousands to wake up this morning without power. Joining us now to update us on that situation is Brian Wheeler, Media Relations Manager for Consumers Energy. Brian, how are you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Well, we appreciate you joining us. I know you're a busy guy this morning, especially after high winds like we've seen. So could you give us an update on really what we're dealing with in West Michigan right now? Yeah, and it's not surprising really those winds, those high winds are the culprit this morning. Once you get wind speeds that are above 50 miles per hour, that's where you can see tree limbs or entire trees come down. And of course, that damages poles, lines, and equipment. So right now we have over 20,000 outages across the state. Many of those are in West Michigan. Kent County is the most hardest hit area at this point. But of course, as soon as we, we, we saw this weather was coming, we did stage our crews and get them ready so that they started work overnight. And of course, they're continuing this morning to get power on as fast as possible. Yeah, definitely. Of course, uh, we were just reporting that uh, Lake Michigan Drive, there's some down trees, down power lines on that road, and that's closing up some of the areas there. Uh, what would you tell people if you see uh, an encounter, a down power line? Yeah, absolutely. Safety really is so important in situations like this. So as, as it gets lighter this morning, people start hitting the road or getting out of their homes. If you do see a down power line, please call 911 and then also call Consumers Energy as well. That way, once that report is made, someone can guard those wires that are down uh, and make sure we get them uh, as safe as possible. Always when you see a down power line, please assume that it is energized, even if it's not, just to be on the safe side, stay 25 feet away. And that way you protect yourself. You're also going to see a lot of Consumers Energy crews on the road this morning. So if you do, just take your time, go slow, take your time and go around them very carefully because they're focusing on their job and they trust that motorists are being careful as well. Yeah, definitely. We, of course, uh, a lot of people want their power back on. We're going to see more high winds today. Uh, when do you expect some folks to get their power back this morning? How long does that process normally take? Yeah, you can go online to our outage map, Consumers Energy's outage map, to learn more specific details. Um, the work has begun this morning already. Of course, we're still watching the winds and still seeing their impact throughout the region. So we're going to be assessing and continually doing the work. Uh, we're confident that we're going to be restoring power to everybody throughout the day today. But please do check that outage map for the latest updates. Yeah, of course. And like you said, you were prepared. You already had crews kind of gearing up uh, last night throughout this uh, wind event. So we appreciate your time. Uh, Brian, again, we, uh, thanks so much for joining us this morning. And we'll be uh, uh, continuing to watch uh, some of those power outages as these winds continue. Thanks so much. All right.